we want to evaluate the given expression. To evaluate expressions, we follow the order of operations, sometimes referred to as PEMDAS. Step one is to simplify within the innermost parentheses or grouping symbols, represented by the P in PEMDAS. Step two, we simplify all expressions with exponents, represented by the E in PEMDAS. Step three, we multiply and divide from left to right, what is represented by the M and D in PEMDAS. We need to be careful here. Multiplication and division have the same priority. We multiply and divide from left to right. We do not multiply first and then divide. And then finally, step four, we add and subtract from left to right, represented by the A and S in PEMDAS. And again, addition and subtraction have the same priority. We add and subtract from left to right. We do not add first and then subtract. So looking at our expression, the first step is to simplify in the parentheses here. But notice in the parentheses, we have multiplication as well as exponents. Referring to the order of operations, we simplify exponents before we multiply and divide, which means the first step is to simplify or evaluate seven squared. Seven squared is equal to seven times seven, which is equal to 49. To give an expression, simplifies to four plus six minus the product of three and 49 minus five. Still simplifying inside the parentheses, the next step is to determine the product of three and 49. Three times 49 is equal to 147. The given expression simplifies to four plus six minus 147 minus five. Notice how we still have parentheses here, but there's nothing to simplify inside the parentheses. So if we wanted to, we could just drop the parentheses here. The only operations left are addition and subtraction, which have the same priority. So now we add and subtract from left to right. For the next step, four plus six is 10. The given expression simplifies to 10 minus 147. Again, the parentheses around the 147 are optional. And then we still have minus five. So working our way from left to right, adding and subtracting. In this case, we only have subtraction left. The next step is to determine 10 minus 147, which is negative 137. The expression simplifies to negative 137 minus five. And of course, our last step is to perform the final subtraction. Negative 137 minus five is equal to negative 142. And of course, we can check this on the calculator by entering the original expression. And let's go ahead and do that. Four plus six minus, and then in parentheses we have three times seven squared, and then minus five. And notice how we do get the same result on the calculator. I hope you found this helpful.